Welcome to tonight's recap of Project Runway. It's your last um, recap before you go back to school, so it is. job well done. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, Badgley and Mishka are the guest judges this week, and uh, oh, that was a long one. Sorry. <laughs> the challenge is to create a gown for a night at the opera. And they only have one day to do it. And. $350. Now we're talking like a couture gown. Yeah, they want high quality. They don't want a prom dress. Mm -hmm. All right, so everyone ends up sketching except for Mondo because Mondo was never much of a sketcher. Neither was uh, Michael, if I remember correctly, but I guess he's changed a little bit since. I don't know. Um, he let, uh, Mondo lets the material create the gown. Or, or whatever piece he's trying to create. Mm -hmm. Which I could definitely go along with that aesthetic because usually when I paint something, I let the paint create what I'm painting and then that's what happens. <laughs> well, this is really Austin Scarlett's challenge to lose because this is what he does. Yeah, he's designed uh, wedding gowns. I can't remember who the designer was, but um, yeah, that's what he does. So Joanna Cole shows up. <laughs> I don't think she's harsh enough with these guys. I miss Tim. I do miss <laughs> Tim as well. Uh, let's just say right off the bat, horrible, horrific fabric choices for Kara and Sweet Pea, or should I say Kara. Kara's always like this. Mm -hmm. I, I chose horrible fabric. <laughs> All right, and Kenley, the polka dots. Oh, predictable. I'm so tired of Kenley. <gasps> She's so annoying. I like Kenley's work though most of the time, so her gown I'll let it slide. Ended up not being that bad except for the polka dots. Like if it didn't have that polka dot thing on the front, I probably would have really liked it. And it was funny at the end of the day when they went back to the apartment, it looked like Rami was grooming Michael. <laughs> it did. Not Michael, We're Anthony. Him a brain massage. Anthony, I'm sorry. I keep getting those two names mixed up for some reason. It was Anthony. And you know what? They're all crying. Oh, who, who can make guitar in one day? I mean, it's special. <laughs> all all right. right, time for the runway. All right, usual uh, suspects here. Georgina Chapman, Isaac Mizrahi, Angela Linval, and of course, Bajli and Mishka. <laughs> you know, something about those two, I'm not buying completely. <laughs> all right, Anthony. He had a white slut pig gown. I don't know if that's how it I would describe it. It was beautiful, but you know what? It's it was a little too much boob for me. Yeah, I mean it's too predictable. I could see Paris Hilton wearing that with her flapjacks hanging out. Oh. April. She had an interesting concept. She dip dyed uh, some red fabric into black, mm -hmm. and it looked actually kind of fresh and cool, but her construction was really bad. I like the idea of it. But I like the idea of it, it too, but maybe if she had stuck to one material instead of trying to like piece all these other yeah. materials in there. Because when you start to mix the materials and you sew it, the sewing machine rejects it because it's like this material's doing this and this one's doing this. Eh eh, and don't it's just mix. Like, <laughs> yeah, oil and water, definitely. Uh, sweet pea. Oh, this was my least favorite. Red floral prom dress at its what best. What is going on with her? That looked cheap. It was. It didn't look like it was for the opera either, which was the goal of the challenge. Yeah, it just it it was not good. I can't even say enough worse about it. <laughs> Austin, ugh, he had a gold lame and black tulle, modest liquid gold gown. It was gorgeous. It was fitted perfectly. It was sewn to perfection, except on the runway, I noticed that the tool in the front was not lying right. If he had only tacked it down, I think, because it kind of made it look a little bit cheap when well, it was coming down the I runway. I loved it. It was very 40s Hollywood glamour. Yes, it definitely glamorous is a great word to describe it. And now, Kara. Shower curtain floral. Three words. It's not good. 
It was kind of a strapless type ball gown with pockets for her iPhone and lipstick. <laughs> I, the fabric just ruined it completely for me. Mm -hmm. And the design was simple. It had that bow on it. They were right. I've seen that gown before. Yeah. In a better fabric. And then Michael. This was my favorite. This was gorgeous, too. Amazing black feather beaded crystal gown. It was gown. Gown. <laughs> it was sex A through sex Z. Uh, you couldn't hide a stick of gum in that gown, though. Probably because there was no back. <laughs> the back was amazing. See, that's why I liked his so much as opposed to, like, Anthony's, because Anthony gave you what was expected, boobs. But Michael gave you the sexiest part of a woman, as far as I'm concerned, and that is the back. Because if you've got a perfect back, that is sexy. Not a lot of don't. women do. <laughs> well, you gotta be sexy to wear it, so it's a sexy dress. So safe, Anthony and Michael, Austin was the winner. Oh, I love Austin. <laughs> I was a little disappointed, because I thought uh, Michael was gonna win. I was happy that As Austin much won. as I love Austin. Cara, Cara was safe, and it came down to Sweet Pea and April. Sweet Peas wasn't an opera dress. And April it did not shit. manage her time properly. That's why it was all eh. <laughs> all right, so Sweet Pea was out. Good decision. Finally, you know, got the right person out as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Next time. Oh, my God. I can't believe you're not going to be here for this. I she know. does the best Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> and Austin goes Amish. It's going to be something. Till next time, much love.